Well, some extraordinary things have been happening in the House of Commons uh, today, which we really haven't uh, got any precedent for. A whiff of Brexit and the chaos then uh, was around. At the heart of all of this, as far as the Labour leadership was concerned, was that uh, today there were going to be votes on Gaza, but Labour MPs wouldn't necessarily, because of all sorts of procedural reasons, get a chance to vote on a preferred Labour leadership version of a Gaza ceasefire uh, motion. They weren't going to get that. I won't go into all the details of the procedure. We really are drowning in the stuff here uh, today. But the Speaker then bent, extended the rules, extended a favour to the Leader uh, uh, of the Opposition to make sure uh, that Labour did get that vote. Now, Labour leadership people are saying this is because the spe it was impressed upon the Speaker that if Labour MPs in certain constituencies couldn't vote for a ceasefire in some form they felt comfortable with, they could be under threat in their constituencies uh, from extremely uh, angry people who were threatening violence in some places. Now, the other thing that was going on here, though, was that Keir Starmer was facing a very big threat of a rebellion. He had a rebellion of 56 people the last time Parliament debated uh, Gaza uh, with a vote like this back in November. He was facing a rebellion of about 100, most people uh, uh, estimate if it had gone ahead on the terms it was going to tonight. And resignations from the shadow cabinet, uh, from the Labour front bench. So the Speaker really has done Keir Starmer quite a favour by inserting Labour's motion into the uh, procedures today. But in response, other parties have flounced out furiously. The Tories are saying the Speaker's bending the rules in Labour's favour. So are the SNP. The Speaker is under threat. We've not really had a very edifying debate about Gaza at all. And, uh, Here's a flavour of how this day went. There were more Israeli attacks on Gaza overnight, but 138 days since the Hamas attack on Israel, the Commons debate on Gaza began with an outcry over procedure. As demonstrators gathered outside, the Speaker announced he was dumping the usual rules and allowing Keir Starmer a chance to keep more of his party together by allowing a vote on Labour's policy. All but the Labour loyalists erupted with anger. I have therefore decided to select the amendments both in the name of the Prime Minister and in the name of the Leader of the Opposition. There were cries of shame from Tories and the SNP who thought the Speaker had bent the rules to help Keir Starmer dampen down a giant revolt. What is the point of an opposition day if it's going to be done like this? Yeah. Yeah. Which restricts, which restricts order, order. Or you'll be going and not be voting. As MPs shouted abuse, the Speaker struggled to maintain order. His office released a letter of dissent from the Clerk of the House. I feel compelled to point out that long-established conventions are not being followed in this case. As Keir Starmer left the chamber, he said an audible thank you to the Speaker.